Hey folks and welcome to Pixel Letters Evolution of Car Crash Physics and Video Games 1980s through 2023. As you can probably tell from some of my older videos on here, I am a big fan of realistic car crash physics in video games. In this week's video we are going to take a look back in time and explore the best specific video game example of crash physics for each decade starting with the 1980s right up to present day. Starting off with the best example title of Crash Physics of the 1980s, we have Chase HQ from 1988. Although this decade was still in the ages of 2D graphics with minimal game physics in general, this arcade game is all about chasing down perps with your car and ramming them continuously until their car finally breaks down so you can arrest them. As you are smashing into your enemy, you can see some damage effects going on, such as paint colored pieces flying off their car, as well as some basic smoke and fire animations when they are nearing breakdown. You can also see a bit of a progressive ruffled damage look on the car too, but that's about as far as it went for this decade really. Yes I know, not much of any real crash physics happening here, but it was still pretty cool stuff and as good as it got for an 80s game folks. Jumping forward to the best example of the 1990s, we have Viper Racing from 1998. The 90s was the first time we started to see three-dimensional graphics appear in video games and having good physics in place to control those 3D models started to become much more important. Although early 3D models and physics were quite blocky and basic at first, they did get quite a bit better by the end of the decade and Viper Racing was certainly the pinnacle of realistic car crash physics for sure. This racing title blew racing fans' minds as it was the first simulation racing game to ever exhibit the beginnings of true soft body damage physics on vehicles. In this game, crashing would actually cave in and break the components of your car to the point where you had to hit the reset button to be able to finish the race. And the best thing in the game to test the outer limits of those great damage physics was the mighty hornball. When you have this option enabled in the hack section of the settings menu, you could beat the tar out of your opponents by launching this painted cannonball at them repeatedly until they were just a pile of busted rubble. Fair racing? No. But super fun and downright hilarious? Heck yeah! I had more fun with this one feature in this title than any other racing game I played up to that point in fact. Stepping into the 2000s we have Rigs of Rods from 2005. This decade is where things really started to get interesting as this simulation title introduced to us a full soft body physics engine for 3D model vehicles simulated down to every part of the body and chassis. This was certainly groundbreaking for the time for sure. As you can witness here, although a bit stiff, vehicles and their parts can all bend up quite realistically. This is a totally free and open source simulator, but not very user friendly though I must say. Regardless, it was by far the best example of realistic crash physics for its decade as there was simply nothing else like it back then. Yes, vehicle handling and graphics were quite rough compared to mainstream vehicle slash racing games of the time, but it is free after all so you can't complain too much. Next up was the 2010s that brought us the incredible simulator game known as Beam NG Drive in 2013. This decade brought vehicle crash physics simulation up to a whole new and truly realistic level that left the jaws of us simulator game fans hanging wide open and off for quite some time. BeamMG first came to us as this free tech demo in 2013 and although a huge step up from Rigs of Rods, it was still pretty rough looking at the beginning as you can see here. Also there was only one vehicle and one test map to try out in this still early stages tech demo. You couldn't even spawn multiple vehicles on screen yet at this point either. Brought to us by some of the same folks who developed Rigs of Rods, BeamNG allows for complete and total destruction of a vehicle with super realistic metal crushing as well as other materials such as glass and rubber simulated accurately. As the developers progress the title more and more over the next couple of years, the graphics, physics, effects, and content depth got exceptionally better. By mid-2015, BeamNG was a well enough put together title for it to be released as a purchasable early access game on Steam. This highly anticipated release featured well over a dozen new vehicles and maps with higher quality models and textures throughout. The majority of the stayability glitches and other bugs were mostly ironed out at this point as well. Not only were the visuals much, much better at this point, but the game, physics, and vehicle handling took another hefty leap forward in realism too. You can see proof of this here in crash testing the same truck at the same track as before, but in the full 2015 early access version instead.
Hopping up to present day 2023's best car crash physics game, we have, you guessed it, a still Beeman G drive, but even so very much better today. Around the 2020 mark, Beeman G took yet another massive leap forward in realism as all existing vehicle and map models as well as textures were remastered for the high quality 4K gaming era. Lots of brand new vehicles and maps were released with no additional charge as well. Further flexing the muscles of the incredible Torque 3D engine that this title uses, Beam MG has reached near GT7 levels of photorealistic graphics and effects that look so good you think for sure that that burning and smoking car of yours was for real. At this point, every little simulated atom of your vehicle acts entirely realistic both in handling and deformation. There's now even traffic and police vehicles you can spawn on the roads if you'd like some moving targets as your next extreme crash victims, which can make for some truly brutal high-speed collisions such as this one. And remember how much I love the hornball carnage in Viper Racing? Well, this game even takes that same concept to a whole new and totally badass level with this drivable, massive medieval cannon on wheels here. Yes, this little toy certainly puts a big smile on my face for sure. Not even in GTA V could you torture cop cars with such intense chaos. Check out this pure destructive madness, folks. Believe it or not, Beam MG is still technically an early access title, as its creators say it is still far from finished with much more to come. That's certainly an exciting prospect, as it's hard to believe that this title could get any better than it already is. All in all, simulation crash physics games have treated us well over the years and have deeply impressed us time and time again. Although not impossible, I really doubt any other game will outmatch Beam and G Drive for the rest of this decade at least, as it just gets better and better each day. Well there you have it folks, hope you liked this video, and if you have, make sure to hit that subscribe button.